you all know that my favorite country in Africa is Rwanda. And I can't believe that I'm back in Rwanda, even though I'm in South Africa. I got myself a beautiful Rwandese and who has a very awesome restaurant in here. I came to eat and I you know I love food and I came to eat and she's like, I'm a Kuru. And I was like, what? In South Africa? That's amazing. So we're here to talk to her. We want to know how long has she been here? How long has this restaurant been in existence? Mommy, hi. Hello. Good afternoon good afternoon my name is maya what's your name and, uh, my name is jacqueline should we ask you where you're from and uh, my rwandan name is moreka tete moroka moreka tete it's like mora 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 morakose yeah. <laughs> so um, i'm from rwanda oh wow and uh, i've been in south africa now for 17 years 17 years in south africa yes. My first question is, what brought you to South Africa in the first place? Um, I was born in the country and grew up there because of some war and all that. Oh. So I went to flee, I went to France and uh, I missed Africa, so I had to come back. You came Africa. back? Yeah. But you miss Africa, why not Rwanda you came to South Africa? Uh, you know, 17 years ago it was not so, uh, yeah. after all what happened in our country. But I'm, I'm, I'm in Rwanda like, it's like I'm there, you know, my, yeah. in my mind, in my, and I go there very often. Oh, so when was the last time you went to Rwanda? Uh, December, this, last year, December. Last year, December. And uh, we want to know how is life in South Africa so far? Yeah, life is okay, life is good, and uh, yeah, we're working hard and trying to make a living. <laughs> You have this yeah. amazing restaurant. But home is always home. Home is always home. Yes. I'm glad to hear that. Yes. But let's talk about your restaurant. How long has this restaurant been in existence? Uh, here I started in 20, 2010. But I was in another place before. Okay. Where I used to. I started there, then. Uh, uh, I started this one to put a bit of accommodation. Oh, okay. And yeah, we had to move. So this place has been here since 20, 2010. 2010. Yeah. So which means that you, you were having an accommodation, like a guest house? Or yes. Oh, before this one? Yes. No, no, here. We have a guest house. Mm -hmm. A yeah. restaurant and a guest house. I mean, you're really living large, you know? Trying. <laughs> I, I love people have to be surrounded by my... Rwandan people fight always to come here because oh. they can find their food, they can find their, their uh, but food uh, and accommodation of course. Yeah, but when I came here I realized that you just don't have Rwandan food because I saw my country food here. My Ghana jollof is here, mm -hmm. the way we fried fish is in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, what actually motivated you to bring the entire African cuisine together? Yeah, because I believe that Africa, our continent, has a lot to offer. And I'm very passionate about the, 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 the cuisine. Okay. So I try to learn also from other countries. countries. And wow. Well, we have Af uh, Rwandan food, we have uh, matoke, we have um, beans, we have goat meat and all that. But uh, I, well, I, I believe that we have got so much to offer. Yeah. This continent is an uh, amazing continent. continent. Yeah. And I feel like I'm Rwandan, but I'm also very African. <laughs> so <laughs> let me yeah. let me tell you, the way you are talking. I think I need to tell you that you are an African mm. born in Rwanda. Yeah, born in Congo, but I'm Rwandan. Oh, born in Congo. Yeah, my parents but are, are Rwandan. Rwandese. Rwandese yeah. Le you know, we heard a lot of stories mm -hmm. about South Africa even mm -hmm. before coming in here. We heard that they don't really like Africans. Mm -hmm. Do you think South Africans don't like other African countries? Okay. Uh, to my experience, maybe uh, I also see all that on TV and it also affects all of us. But okay. uh, I have a lot of South African friends who come here. Okay. Even the last time when we were here, they, 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 they some even especially young people mm -hmm. trying to discover uh, African cuisine mm -hmm. and I don't think most of them did not have a chance to know about other African, African countries. countries yes and most of the time I've, um, 
met many young people travel uh -huh. uh, to DRC, to Ghana, to Rwanda, and they, when they come, they have a different uh, way of. I think sometimes ignorance, or when you don't know. Yeah. I, I did not have really a bad experience yes. with. with uh, yeah, I'm glad and that. And they have been also very um, pleased to hear a lot of South African speaking Kiswahili. Wow. Yes. Yes. Speak Kiswahili. Kiswahili because most, I mean, maybe another, my people like my age or older than me mm -hmm. who have been to exile and all that. Oh, and so they, they, they come and we offer them the food they used to eat, eat when they were there. <laughs> so it's uh, quite amazing to meet them. Oh, wow. Um, and, uh, we it's there, but I really did not know. That's, 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 it's, it's good that you have a positive experience yeah. living in yeah. South Africa. I think just we need to know each other to come to meet then, you know. So, I mean, let, let, let's go a different way. You think, mm -hmm. you think we need to know each other, which means that you think that most Africans don't know each other? Yeah, I think, you know, all these things thing we hear and... Uh, uh, I'm going to be honest, when I yeah. meet them, we talk, we discuss, mm. because I'm also concerned about that. Mm. We, we are the same people. We just when you don't know the other one, you start thinking oh, about uh, yeah. Like some people are even scared to come here. They think that to meet the South Africa will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this thing really happened. It was there. Wow! Strong. Wow! Think, yeah. My last question will be: Who are the people who often come in here to eat, and uh, who do you expect to come in here to eat? Uh, is it open for everyone? It's open for everyone. For I can tell you sometime I, I used to have like maybe twenty different nationalities. Wow. Like African, I mean so those people who just left there from Malawi. Mm. So also uh, around here there's a lot of embassies. Okay. So I have Ghana, I have uh, uh, Zambia, Congo, oh DRC, e everywhere oh Africa. Wow. Even um, some Arabs, even white South Africans, yes. white every, everybody, everybody is open to everyone. I just my way to promote Africa and African cuisine. I mean, this is another form of Africa to the world. She's promoting African cuisines to the entire world. So I want to tell you something. Whenever you get to South Africa, make sure you don't stay just in Johannesburg or Cape Town. Take a trip to where Pretoria, and uh, where can we find a restaurant? It's in uh, Arcadia, uh, where I was situated on 933 Francis Bell Street, Arcadia, Pretoria. Okay, thank you so much for talking to us. Man. Thank you. Thank you. It was uh, an honor meeting you. Ah, no. <laughs> I saw you on YouTube. I'm today I feel like uh, it's a blessing. A oh. Such a young person, you know, what you are doing. Oh, wow. Keep it up. Thank you so much, And mommy. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for watching. And um, I'm going to see you in the next one. By the way, I, I'm going to eat right now, so I don't have time to you know, say that uh, goodbye. Or, no, no, bye bye. You know, okay. I, I'm going to eat. I don't want to talk to anybody. We'll meet, we'll meet them here. Yeah. They must come. <laughs> they must come and enjoy yourself too. Yeah. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Son. Thank you bye. very much. Thank you. Cheers. Bon appetit, les enfants. Et Murjo here, boy. Murakoze. 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 Chani. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Oh, Messi. I couldn't even remember Messi Boko. Oh. You're too many Kiswahili. Asante Sana. Asante. Indeed. It's home away from home. I got my jollof, my fried fish, chili got goat, soup. So good. If you go to Sierra Leone, we have what? Cassava, Cassava leaves. leaves, Senegalese. No, Liberia. Sierra Leone, Liberia. Sierra Leone, Cassava leaves. This is Niger. This is Nigerian jollof. <laughs> this one is real Ghana jollof. You see what happened? And then if you go to Kenya, we have the ugali. In Kenya, so which means that it represents like the entire Africa here. Kenyans eat this, Zambians eat this, Zimbabweans eat this, Tanzania eat this, Uganda eat this. 
entire Africa is here. So whenever you come to South Africa, no, let me try it out. Whenever you come to South Africa, make sure you come to Pretoria to come and enjoy the authentic. Hmm. Oh my god. Ah. I mean, this is the first time I'm eating ugali that I can say, no, this is the best ugali I've ever eaten. Oh, wow. I'm t like, I don't even feel like... It's always been like that, just today that you're noticing. No, 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 no. It's the, the soup. Mm. Wow. 